Hello everybody, this is Meowspad with Obansville Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Arcanum working on Windows 7, 8, or 10. The first thing you'll want to do is get a version of Arcanum if you haven't already done so. If you don't have the CD version or the GOG version yet, you can actually purchase the GOG version from GOG.com. I will link it in the description for only $5.99. Once you have that, you can either install it with the CD version, or if you have the GOG version like I do, you just double click the setup file. And the installation is fairly self explanatory. It's taking a while to load, I'm not sure why. There we go. Now the default directory that it will install to is your hard drive minus F in this case slash GOG games slash Arcanum. If you have the CD version it will install to your hard drive slash Sierra slash Arcanum. So be wary of that. That's This is the directory you'll want to go to when you access your Arcanum files. Now once you have installed the game, go ahead and click on Exit because we're not ready to run the game just yet. Now if you have the GOG version, the next step won't apply to you. It's This next step only applies to you if you have the CD version. You will want to get the uh, Arcanum 1074 patch. This is an official patch that was released by Troika Games for Arcanum back in the day. It fixes a variety of things bugs in the game. If you have the GOG version like I do though, you can skip that step. I will provide the link to download the 1074 patch. After you've installed the 1074 patch, if you need to, you can install the Drog Blacktooth's unofficial patch for Arcanum. It fixes a lot of bugs that were still in the game, even after the 1074 patch. A lot of really game-breaking bugs as well, so you will want to get that. I will link that in the description. Now here be sure to check and make sure that it has your proper Arcanum directory in here. It usually should, but sometimes it won't. In my case it does have the correct directory, so I'm going to go ahead and click Install. Now the next step may or may not be necessary for you. It wasn't necessary for me when I installed it on Windows 7, but now that I'm running Windows 10, it has been necessary in order to run the game well. I, when I installed it on Windows 10, I was having a lot of problems with lag in game, and I checked the GOG forums and a lot of people recommended getting the Wine DLLs that would enable direct X games to run on Linux. And I tried that and it fixed all of the problems that I was having with Arcanum. So I've downloaded it already. I'll link it in the description again. The iedraw.fix.zip file. What you want to do is open this file up. And then you want to find your Arcanum directory and open that up as well.
and then inside the zip file you want to open this ddraw dot or ddraw fix folder and then the wine d3d folder and these three dlls you will want to drag and drop them to your arcanum directory and when it asks you to overwrite go ahead and overwrite now you're done with this file go ahead and close that the next step is not mandatory but i highly recommend it installing the high resolution patch by drog blacktooth while it's not mandatory it will you'll have a much better experience in arcanum if it's running in your monitor's need of resolution instead of 640 by 480 so go ahead and open the high resolution patch again i will link it in the video description and again, make sure it has your proper Arcanum directory in there. It does in my case, so I'm going to go ahead and hit install. Now, when it asks if you would like to display the README, go ahead and answer no. Install, go ahead and hit I, and hit enter. And then this is where you'll want to enter your monitor's need of resolution, starting with the width. In my case, it's 1920. And then you'll want to enter the height, which in my case is 1080. Compact options screen, I always install it. Larger dialog font, I usually hit I and then enter, and I choose size 14. So go ahead and hit 1. The size 18 uses a different font than the original, and I prefer the original font. If you have trouble reading dialog in game, you may want to go with the higher size. Larger logbook font, I would go ahead and install that and hit enter to exit. Now everything is installed, but you're not done just yet. Go to the Arcanum shortcut that it creates on your desktop and right click that and go to properties. And you will want to go to, well, first off, in the shortcut tab, you'll want where it says target, you will want to enter a couple of things after the quotation mark, like this. I entered dash double buffer and then put a space and entered dash no 3D. What this does is it runs Arcanum in safe mode and then the double buffer actually, I believe it does something with the way that the lines are drawn, it makes it run a little faster in later in modern version of Windows. Go ahead and hit the compatibility tab. What I always do is run it in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. And make sure that run this program as an administrator is checked. And hit apply and then OK. Now, after all of this is done, you should be ready to go ahead and run Arcanum. So double click on the shortcut. Compl-